Hey guys, we are incrementally loading our messages right now where we have a small number of them and then if we want to see more, we scroll up to the top and click load more. Now that's not actually how Slack or most websites work these days. For example, Twitter has infinite scrolling, so does Slack, where you don't even notice. Um, it hides it behind the scenes, so as you scroll up and you reach the end of the list, it'll automatically make a request to the server to fetch more and then it'll pin more items at the end of the list and you just keep scrolling. So that's what we're gonna make today. Now to do this, what we need to do is basically know when we reach the top of this container. And when we reach the top of this container, we wanna basically have a callback and uh, fetch our items and then load on the list. So to do this, we actually need to have access to the div where that scroll bar is. So we're gonna have to make a div on the outside here because we can't get reference to this file upload component because we don't want to access the drop zone component. We need an actual div that has that overflow on it. So we're going to wrap our whole thing with a div here. And we're going to basically copy all the styles over. Uh, style. And we're going to copy, oops, all of it here. And we're going to keep these two on the file upload component. That way uh, it's in the right direction. And then here, this is why I wanted to switch this to a div, is because I need to have the reference to it. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to call it scroller is equal to this dot scroller is equal to scroller. Okay, so now we have uh, access to this scroller object. And whenever we scroll on this div, I want to know about it. So there's a callback called on scroll, and then we're going to create a function called handle scroll. This dot handle scroll. So right now in my handle scroll function, I just want to show you guys how this works. So I'm going to console.log this dot scroller, and I want to make sure this dot scroller exists first. So this dot scroller dot scroll top. So scroll top keeps basically your position of where you are in this. So I'll let this refresh. So notice how the numbers are getting smaller here. As I scroll further and further up this list and then I reach the very top, I hit zero. And if I scroll back down, the numbers get smaller. So basically all I'm gonna listen for is when we approach zero. So maybe when this number is less than zero or less than 100, I mean, or less than 200, that's a number you can play with, but a threshold, we can say we've reached the top. So for example, so and this dot scroller dot scroll top is less than 100, we can say reached top. So now as I scroll up, I reach the top, it says reached top. So instead of just console logging reach top now, I can actually fetch my elements in that function and populate it. So instead of having this button here, we can actually delete the button, but we can copy these conditions because they still are valid. So and, so here we want to make sure we have more items to fetch and then the message length is greater than 35. And I'm just gonna copy the props into here because we need them as well. We don't care about loading though, that's the only one. Okay, and then I'm gonna copy fetch more and put that in here as well. And now we can delete our button down here. Okay. That looks good. So now what we're doing is when we reach the top, we're gonna fetch more and then add our elements to the list. So now, watch the scroll bar as I'm scrolling. Um, you can notice it got a little bit smaller there and a little bit smaller. So you can tell we're actually fetching more items and it takes longer to get to the top of the list. Now, it's annoying that it takes us to the bottom of the list every time. So we're gonna fix that. 
But first we have to understand why it's doing that. The reason it is, is because initially we have some number of items. For us it's going to be usually around 35. And then we get a new set of items, 70 items. And so React pushes us to the very bottom when it receives a new number of items, so 70, uh, 35 more. So instead of pushing it to the bottom, we want to basically listen for when we get more items and then move the scroll bar back up to where we were. So the way we're going to do that is receive, component will receive props. This component, this uh, life, cycle, life cycle method will uh, be called every time we get new props. So if we get new messages, that's a prop, we can listen for it here. So I'm going to say data messages. And we'll add a comment there. Now we won't always have messages, so we need to make sure messages exists and we need to do the same thing uh, with our current props so component will receive props these are the future props and we want to compare them against our current props so we're going to say data and here we're going to say and I'm, I was going to expand it but we don't want the names to conflict so I will just say this.props.data.messages so we want to make sure I have some messages and I'm receiving new messages and we want to make sure their their lengths don't match that means we got new messages so dot length is not equal to messages dot length so that means the, the messages prop changed in some way because we got new messages and the links don't match up we also want to make sure we have access to this dot scroller and what we're gonna do here is we have not actually received um, the new messages. They have not actually rendered. So currently in this if statement, there are 35 items, um, for example, or it could be 70, but the new items have not rendered. So to get, what I can do is I can get the current height of that entire container. So const current height is equal to this.scroller dot scroll height so the scroll height is going to be the total height of it and what we're going to do is we're going to set a timeout and what set timeout does is it calls your function after a certain amount of time we're going to say 100 milliseconds but this is a number you might need to play with we basically want to wait until wait for 70 items to render so we're grabbing what the, our height of the container is with 35 items and when the 35, so more items get rendered in, uh, we're going to set this.scroller.scrolltop and this will, if we set this number, this will actually change the scroll bar. So we're going to set it equal to this.scroller.scrollheight. So you the scroll height should be larger here, right? Because we have more messages and we're just going to subtract it from current height. So current height's not a great name for this. Let's call it um, height before render. So that's going to be the height before the new messages are rendered. Then this is the height when those new messages are rendered and then we subtract the two to get our position and we scroll to that position. Um, and then here we're just waiting 100 milliseconds to wait for it to uh, render. All right, so let's see this now. So scroll, scroll, scroll. And we went to the bottom, so something went wrong. Oh, it worked there. It worked there. So just our first one broke. And that's what I was talking about. You might need to change up how many milliseconds you wait for. So let's try 120. All right. Scroll, 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 and there we go. Scroll, scroll, cool. And let's just make sure that wasn't me just scrolling a lot. Yep, looks like our scroll bar works nicely. So we can scroll, and it looks like it's a continuous scroll for us. We can refresh and look at that again. So as the, for a user, they just keep scrolling and seeing new items, but we're really loading more in the background. Cool. But there's one problem with what we have right now. So let's say we start typing a message. So what's up? 
notice where my scroll bar is now. It's at the very top of the list instead of where what's up is. And the reason for that is we're listening, oops, we're listening for new messages here. So when we send one single message, that increases the length by one. So we really just want to listen to when we're fetching more messages. So we need to change our if statement here. And we know we're fetching more if we're at the top of our list here. So what I'm going to say is this.scroller.scrollTop is less than 100. So basically our condition for when to fetch more items has been met because we're at the top. So this won't affect our actual scroll. See the scroll still works. But now when I say, hey guys, what's up? Instead of popping me to the top of the list, it will actually bring me to the bottom. And I see, hey guys, what's up? So cool. So this is how you do infinite scrolling. This is at least one way to do it. So we're keeping track of the scroll bar. When it reaches the top, we fetch more items. And then we adjust the scroll bar to the position that you were at. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you for watching.